He gave them the water of wisdom to drink. It will be made strong in them and will not be moved. It will raise them up forever. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God, our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we take this time to acknowledge our sins, and so therefore prepare ourselves to receive the Lord in word and in sacrament. I confess to so Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us tasks and remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over, the glad, over what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus, whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children, and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments, and was exhorting them, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation, those who accepted this message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The, the earth, earth is full of the goodness of the, of the Lord. Lord. Upright is the Word of the Lord and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right of the kindness of the Lord 
The earth is full. The, the earth, earth is, is full of the goodness of the Lord. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear Him, upon those who hope for His kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. The, the earth, earth is, is full, full of the goodness of the Lord. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. The, the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Before the Lord, 
will truly understand the glorification of Jesus Christ risen from the dead. I have seen the Lord. Those words remind me of a time when I met a blind man outside of a church one Sunday morning and he said to me, Father Billy, it may be dark out there, but there's a lot of light in here. The blind man saw the Lord. The hallelujah of today's story and the thrill of the resurrection is in the fact that Jesus Christ is alive in his church, in the body of people that are his hands and feet. That said, I will close with those words attributed to St. Teresa of Avila. Christ has no body now but yours. No hands, no feet on earth but yours. Yours are the eyes through which he looks compassion on the world. Yours are the feet with which he walks to do good. Yours are the hands through which he blesses all the world. Yours are the hands. Yours are the feet. Yours are the eyes. You are his body. Christ has no body now on earth but yours. Let us pray. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for Archbishop Gregory Amen, Sherry, for all of our priests, our deacons, our religious. We pray too for our seminarians, especially those who are nearing ordination to the diaconate and to priesthood. Pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray indeed for our president and for leaders of governments throughout the world, especially at this time of the coronavirus. We pray too for the safety of our military, our police and first responders. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray indeed for all of those who have died or maybe those who are near death as a result of this coronavirus. We pray especially for the grieving families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those that we would like to remember this morning, we just pause momentarily and pray for them. Asking the Lord to bless our intention, mindful too of the intentions for our Mass today. Uh, we pray in a very special way for all of those who are doctors and nurses, those in the medical field at this time, working in hospitals, caring for the sick. We pray too for caregivers and personnel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray indeed for all of our families here at St. Anne Parish for mothers and fathers, grandmothers, grandfathers, and for our children that we miss so terribly around here every day. We pray God's strength over you, keep you well and strong in mind, body, and spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, be world without end. end. Amen. Saint Anne, pray, pray for us. Saint Joachim, pray, pray for us. Blessed Francis Xavier Silas, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become. 
Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received but attain the gifts that are eternal, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times in you, O Lord, but above all to love time when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb that has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Be holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith. Save our Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Gregory our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, 
and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into a life of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our lives, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and save from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior. The kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sin. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are we not called to receive. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter the Bible, but I will say the words, and my soul shall be healed. This time I invite you to pray the spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come as the spiritual. Let us pray. 
Hear us, Almighty God, and as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of God, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, I invite you to join us in the St. Anne Novena. To kneel at your altar in faith with your near, led onward by Mary, your daughter so dear, O blue Saint Anne, we call on your name, your praises loud, your children proclaim, O blue Saint Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for 
for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, or without end. Amen. Saint Anne, Mother of the Blessed Virgin Mary, pray for us. In the third mystery, we meditate on God becoming man in Jesus Christ, the Redeemer of the world. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As He was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, for without end. Amen. Saint Anne, Mother of the Blessed Virgin Mary, pray for us. Good Saint Anne, you were you privileged to be the mother of Mary, Mary God's mother and house, and so you hold a favorite place among the saints. We turn to you with confidence because of your closeness to Mary. And also because you have always shown your power and willingness to help those devoted to you. Through this nomina, Saint Anne, I ask you to help me each day to come closer to Jesus to Mary. Give me a heart for sin which separates me from God, and teach me to love my neighbor as myself. I place before you the special attention of this moment. Please recommend them to Mary, that she may bring them before her son Jesus. Intercede for me, said Anne, that I may follow Jesus more closely in the vocation in life for which he has called me, so that when this life is over, I may with Mary and you and all the saints enjoy the vision of God face to face. Amen. Ever Immaculate Virgin, Mother of Mercy, Help of the sick, refuge of sinners, comfort of the afflicted. You know my wants, my troubles, my suffering. Deign to cast upon me a look of mercy. By appearing in the grotto of Lourdes, you are pleased to make it a privileged sanctuary, where you dispense your favors, and already many sufferers have obtained the cure of their infirmities, both spiritual and moral. I come, therefore, with the most unbounded confidence to implore your maternal intercession, obtain a loving heart by granting of my requests. Through gratitude for your favors, I will endeavor to imitate your virtues that I may want to share your glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. And through the intercession of Saint Anne, Mother of the Mother of God, may the Lord's blessing be upon you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. <laughs>
your children. 